Hey guys, Shurim here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new cars that will be coming out in the Munich update to Asphalt 8 and my opinions on them. Also, there is a new track called Munich that is being added, which I will share some about as well. All pictures in this video were provided by Gameloft, so let's get to it. The first car is the Honda Civic Type R, which will be in C-Class. Now this is a car that has been speculated to be coming to Asphalt 8 for a long time, and now it's finally here. It has a decently large stock to max pro rank, so I believe it will be decent in multiplayer, not as good as say the M2 or the Cobra, but still pretty decent. At Max Pro, this car will be able to reach a speed of around 261 miles per hour with tuning kit. This is approximately the same speed as the Mitsubishi Eclipse and the Renault Alpine. It has very good acceleration, and because of its large nitro stat, I expect it to be a lot like the ED Design Torque, only slightly faster. So let's move on to our next car, which is the McLaren 650S GT3. Now, unfortunately, this car looks to be rather useless. Its starting rank is too high to be a good multiplayer car, and its max pro rank is too low to compete in Class A. At max pro, this car will be able to reach around 486 miles per hour. This is about 6 miles per hour faster than the McLaren P1, however, it is 15 miles per hour slower than the McLaren 675LT, 30 miles per hour slower than the BMW Homage, and 50 miles per hour slower than the SLK Special Edition. So it appears that this car has nothing going for it except good looks. Now, let's move on to the final car that has been revealed, the Aranera Hesera GT. Originally, many people thought that this car would be a Vulcan killer, and it does have a decently low starting rank and a high ending rank for Class S. However, Mr. Mysterious Spyman from the Asphalt Wiki calculated its max pro speed to be around 313 miles per hour. 2 miles per hour slower than the Aston Martin Vulcan and about the same speed as the MP431 or Porsche 918. When multiplayer tuned to around a rank of 1680, this car will only be able to go around 303 miles per hour, which, while being very good, is not enough to compete with the Vulcan, which goes around 5 miles per hour faster at that rank. So while this will be no Vulcan killer, it will certainly be a good competitor and a good alternative for those that do not have the Vulcan. Now let's talk about the new track Munich. It is a very nice looking but also challenging looking track. It has lots of open outside sections, but the majority of the map takes place underground. And I believe a lot of it is a subway because there are trains in a lot of places on the track. In some of these places, you can go up partially on the sides, like you can in Nevada or Tokyo, for example. Also, this track has a 360 degree turn or curve, much like the one on Sector 8. There are plenty of other really cool looking places on this track, as well as many places that apparently bikes can go but cars cannot. We'll have to see how that works out. There are two other new vehicles in the update that have not been revealed yet, but some hints were given to us in the reveal livestream for this update. At least one of them will be an Aprilia bike, and I'm not sure if this is a troll or not, but look right here. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think about that. So guys, are you excited for the update? I know I am. Leave a comment down below telling me what you think about it. Thank you all for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it and found it to be informative, and please consider subscribing for more Asphalt 8 videos, and I will see you later. Goodbye.